Hi everybody, I'm Bill Sanders and this is Watch Art Sci, the art and science of watch collection. Uh, what I want to do uh, on this uh, vest pocket video is that when the Grand Prix de Rolodé come out, the GPHG, uh, the, everybody looks for the inexpensive watches in the Challenger group and the Petite Aiguille group. Uh, the Petite Aiguille group has to be under 10,000 uh, and the Challenger group they have to be under 3,500 and so I thought, I was, you know, look around what else they have. Now, another group that you're also going to find a lot of inexpensive watches is the sports group. But the ones that have the most expensive and the fanciest and really the best watches are include the men's group, very competitive, and the watches are very expensive. The men's complication group, same thing. Uh, and another one in the chronograph group. Now, the, the watches there are usually out of reach. And what I did was to find two watches from each of those three groups that were under 5,000 Swiss francs. So let's take a look at them. Now, the first one in the men's group, uh, there's one called Lucky Harvey Dragon. And it's, it looks like a fun watch. I mean, it's, um, I, I couldn't find a caliber name for it, uh, what's in it. It runs at four hertz, uh, 28,800 semi oscillations per hour. Call, uh, the name of the brand is Lucky Harvey. The name of the watch is Dragon. And it's 999 Swiss francs, which is well under $5,000 or 5,000 Swiss francs. Now, another one I found was uh, Raketa watches in St. Petersburg. And a little thing that surprised me about this is I've heard of Raketa, but I thought that all of the trade and everything else with Russia was off since they invaded uh, Ukraine. So anyway, um, maybe these guys, <laughs> I don't know what the deal is. Uh, I think it'd be very hard to sell watches outside of Russia, but they, that, uh, this big factory they have, uh, the Rakita factory is, it's from the Soviet Union days, the uh, USSR. They have some interesting movements in this one. This one movement has 18,000 semi-oscillation per hour, 40 hours automatic. Now, one of the other interesting things is the name of this watch. It's called the Ekranoplan. And the Ekranoplan was this, it was like a 500 mile an hour monster boat airplane combination uh, that the uh, Soviets developed for um, bo uh, defense at the shoreline. I don't know what they were gonna do come thundering along with that thing, but Anyway, it was a really, I've seen pictures of it at work and how they developed it. It was very, very interesting, but anyway, so they decided to name it a wash after that, 2,000 Swiss francs. This is in the men's group, remember. Now, in the men's complication group, I didn't think I'd find any, and I found two. Uh, one was by um, Perillet, and they have, it's from their lab peripheral dual time, big day, day night indicator. And um, this one is 4980 uh, uh, Swiss francs, which is just under 20 Swiss francs under 5,000. But this one also looked, you know, for something in a men's complication. I thought that was pretty gutsy. Another one that did the same thing was uh, one called uh, from a company called ZTAG. Uh, uh, this is 4 hertz automatic, and it's a world timer. And uh, I thought, wow, this is an interesting watch. And for, again, the, the well under 5,000, 3,300 Swiss francs. Now, the final group, and again, this is another one I was very much surprised to find some, you know, some pretty good deals in it. It was a chronograph group, uh, first of all, by Maurice Lacroix. Believe it or not, even though a lot of their movements had sort of warmed over uh, ETA movements in it, they are, they are a good company. Their stuff is very, very well made. Uh, the Maurice Lacroix Pointos S Chronograph 43 millimeters, that's a honey of a watch. I mean, if you like chronographs, I'm not a chronograph fan, but 
you know, I, <laughs> I can appreciate a good watch no matter whether I like it or not. And uh, this is sort of an interesting one, 3350. Again, under four, uh, 5,000 Swiss francs. Now, the final one, I used to have a Raymond while, and, and I tell you, you couldn't kill that thing with a baseball bat. Great watch. Uh, the Raymond Wall, I think, they only had ETA and Zenith, uh, not Zenith, but uh, Salida movements in them. But uh, th this uh, Raymond Wall Freelancer Pilot Flyback Chronograph, turns out that it's the pilot fans. I think the president of Raymond Weil is a pilot, and a couple other people are too. Uh, I used to be a pilot. I appreciate pilot watches. And uh, this one is 4195. Uh, it's a chronograph. Um, caliber is RW 5530, 4 hertz, 56 hours, hours, minutes, seconds, and a flyback chronograph. So anyway, if you're saying, oh, I don't want one of those cheap ones from the lower categories, here are six watches. You might see something in there that, uh, one, you like, and two, you can afford. Let me know what you find. Let me know if you find something else. Uh, and uh, in the meantime, this is an opportunity to subscribe if you like. Until next time, this is Bill Sanders for Watch Art Sci, the art and science of watch collection.